because Gastini di Boer it means guest house and look how elegant it is and how huge but this is not where we spent the night we were just on our way to the Soviet Versailles Vidinha Welcome to the All Russian Exhibition in Moscow. Vidinha is the biggest Soviet theme park in Moscow and I brought my friend here to show her just how gigantic the structures are and how architecturally rich the pavilions are and how luxurious Soviet Russia is. <laughs> that is not true. I brought her here to give her a feel of the Soviet past of Russia and to give her a little understanding and to enlighten her about culture and history of Russia or Moscow. And today is the celebration of the Bidinha 80 years. And right there is the main complex, main pavilion of the whole complex. In this complex are different pavilions of the former Soviet Russian nations. So let's go check it out. It's still our second day in Moscow and I'm still my friend's personal travel guide. With a few readings from the internet and Google, I think, I think I'm doing a great job. <laughs> well, in all honesty, there are times that I don't know what to say, and this is what I do when I don't know what to say or do. We are now at the front of the Russian Soviet Union Republic. Republika. It means the Russian Republic of the Soviet Union. Ha! Nailed that! For a non-fluent Russian speaker, I nailed that. And that's what I do. I read things for my friend. Now this is pavilion number 68, the Armenian nation during the USSR. But today it is called the Ararat restaurant or restaurant Ararat. Now this is pavilion number 66. It is the Sovietskaya Kultura, meaning the Soviet Culture Pavilion. Most of these buildings are of Stalinistic architecture. You can actually go inside the pavilions because some of the pavilions were converted into museums. But my friend, aka my tourist, is not a big fan of museums and so am I. So we skipped that part. in Russia. Uh -huh. This pavilion is probably the most exquisite and the most colorful of all pavilions that we have seen. Decorated with bountiful food tables from different Union Republics, this so-called the stone flower fountain represents plentifulness which is embodied in the, the sculptures that surrounds it where the water meets the sky ice cream house and then over there is the corn house this is the cosmos pavilion during the ussr Russia cannot be described without mentioning one of its greatest cosmonautical achievements. On April 12, 1961, aboard the Russian spacecraft Vostok 1, Yuri Gagarin became the very first man to journey into outer space. And right over there is the politics. It's like an academy for uh, aviators. Yeah, aviation academy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that is an air. 
this is the pavilion of the Republic of Belarus. This is by far the only pavilion whose posts were adorned beautifully and colorfully with agricultural products and it gives you that feeling of a bountiful and magical Thanksgiving day. Constructions for the pavilion of Azerbaijan is still ongoing when we were there. From afar, you could already see the dome of the pavilion of Kazakhstan. And we were tempted a lot of times to take a shortcut and come right here. But I was so glad that we did take our time. Because when we got here, we took an amazing moment to just appreciate its beautiful architecture. This pavilion is the Kazakhstan Republic Pavilion. And the Islamic architecture on its pavilion is very distinct. And it's quite catchy to the eyes. The most famous fountain of all the fountains here in Vidinha is this, the Friendships of Nations Fountain. It is one of the main symbols of Vidinha and it was installed 64 years ago and is gilded with 16 bronze sculptures representing the 16 republics of the USSR. Pavilion. Its color and architecture is very intriguing. It gives me the vibe of China and Mongolia all at the same time. I think I should go there one day. And now it's time to ask our tourist, aka my friend, of her thoughts about this place. It's huge! <laughs> and <laughs> that's it. That's it? That's all that you can say? What about you guys? What do you think of Bidingha? Let us know in the comments down below and we will see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And we are here at 6.45.